Hey guys, it's Skulk3 and welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Blackwell Unbound. In the last part, we learned the name, at the very least, of our mysterious saxophone man. Um, we also learned he was in a band with Cecil over here. Cecil. I'm, I'm gonna stop that joke. It stopped being funny a long time ago. Um, and we also learned that there was quite a bit of drama between C and uh, Isaac. Possibly revolving around Isaac's sister. But we don't know much more about that, so we're here to ask, ask C for more what? detail. Let's first ask Isaac. Isaac. Brown. Leave it, lady. The past is dead, gone, and buried. And playing the saxophone over on Roosevelt Island Promenade. But I don't really know that. I need to speak to you about Isaac's sister. You okay, we struck a nerve. It. You've crossed the line, sister. It was fun for a while, but now it's time for you to leave. Ooh, now you've done it. Look, I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Sorry and enough, sister. Leave. I'll leave, but I'll be back. I think C's voice actor does you a really good really job in this. Away with the fellas, kid. He's good at being like uh, charming, being dismissive, and being like cross. He does them all well. Um, so, a little word of advice for anyone who is considering um, buying the Blackwell games and playing them ahead of the Let's Play, which you know you should totally do. Give them, give them money, then they can make more games, and they make really good games. Come on, you know you want to do it. Come on, come on, you know you want to do it. Things in the description, it's right there. Come on. Okay, I'll stop that. Um, but anytime you get essentially kicked out of somewhere without leaving the screen, you might want to. You generally want to start trying, seeing if Joey can do anything, because being a ghost, he's invisible, he's inaudible. He can do all the sneaking around you need. And in this case, we need his advice on Cecil here. I know that expression. Only time a man gets a look like that is when he's hung up over a woman. Go easy on him, huh? I think he cares more about that gal than he lets on. When did you get so wise, Joey? Okay, let's give that tactic a go. Look what the cat dragged in. We need to talk. You know, I've actually had to record this episode a few times because I've keep kept doing things wrong or like the technical issues, and it turns out like they have randomized phrases there, so that's pretty cool. You loved her, didn't you? Of course, I loved her. She was our heart and soul. I would have. Damn you, woman. Damn you. I just want to play this piano and forget she ever existed. Why don't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry to have to bring it up, but I mean, we need to help Isaac. So what happened, see? It's very important that you tell me. All right, all right. I don't know who you are or why you're so interested, but you're never gonna leave me alone, are you? No, I won't. Nope. You were in a band together, right? Yeah, we had a band. Smart girl. Then she died. Then he died. End of story. Then I died. Eventually, I imagine. How did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was looking to start a band, and I saw them perform together. She could sing like it was magic. Such energy, such life, such a waste. A waste? What happened to Sarah? She got sick. Pneumonia or something. Started coughing one day and wouldn't stop. She got better after a while, but something happened to her voice. Doctor said she would never sing again. After that, the spark just went out. She hung on for a few months, but she just lost the will to live. Oh god. I mean, when your whole life is dedicated to one thing and then forces beyond your control stop you being able to do it, I mean... Yeesh. Anything else you can tell me about Sarah? I love that woman. Even when she lost her voice, I would have given up everything for her. Heck, I would have even let her brother live with us. I should have told her. Hmm. What was Isaac really like? That fat bastard. He was good on the sax, but that was the end of his good points. He drank, he was violent, he was useless in every other way. But Sarah could calm him down. She was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. What happened to Isaac after Sarah died? He went to pieces. What do you think? Oh, he couldn't cope. Drank way too much. Started fights during gigs. I tried to stick with him out of respect for Sarah, but let's face it. He was a big, dumb embarrassment. So you cut ties with Isaac? Completely. Told him he was a drunk and a lowlife and wasn't worth the peanuts I paid him. 
which was, let's face it, totally true. What happened? He beat me senseless is what happened. Knocked me out with the sacks I bought for him. Joey and he knows all about that, Phenon. Spent the rest of his life living on the streets of Roosevelt Island till he got killed by some drifter. You don't know who killed Isaac? Yes, I killed him. Oh, come on. No, I did. I'm not the one who put my hands around his neck or choked him to death, but I killed him just the same. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I know that. My brain knows that. But my heart won't listen. I mean, I know you two didn't get on, but I think there were a lot more factors going on there than you. Can you tell me anything else about Isaac? No, I've told you everything. About Sarah? I told you everything. Please, just stop. Okay. We'll drop it there. Sounds like you've got quite See a lot later. of information, at yeah. least. You know, all this talk reminds me of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah, a duet. At the end of every show. She'd sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano, if you can believe it. She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac. And Isaac loved that silly song. They never let me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. Oh, well. Well, we do also know that to get any spirit to accept what's happened and move on, we quite often need to find something tying them to this Cecil? world. And that sounds... What? That sounds like a pretty nice candidate, honestly. What was the duet that Isaac and Sarah used to play? Oh, that. It was just a short little thing. Isaac would just improv the whole thing. But Sarah's was always the same. With something like... After Sarah died, Isaac would play gigs, but refused to leave the stage. He'd blow on his sax playing anything that came to mind. Feet planted like a statue. He'd just keep playing? He'd play forever if I didn't get four guys to drag him off. I think... I think he was waiting for Sarah to play with him. He was supposed to finish each show with her and... Well... In his heart, he refused to believe she was dead. That sounds pretty much like what he's doing now. So I'd say it's fairly obviously what we need to do. We need to get four guys to drag him off! I don't think we know four ghosts, actually. Maybe let's try the duet. Could you play that song again? Yeah, sure. Why not? Because having the technology at our disposal, we can take a recording of this and play it for him. It's a good thing we picked up that dictation machine. I think I've recorded enough. Somebody is already playing it. Somebody's already playing what? I think it accidentally clicked twice or something there. In any case, we have our recording. Let's head over to Roosevelt Island Promenade and hello oh, there. Oh boy, we've got company. How you doing, madam? Can you see? Pardon? Can't you see? See what, lady? The whole of the world. Connections. You see this bit of it. Pulsing with life everywhere. Oh great, one of New York's finest crazies. Do something about this old bat, will ya? Uh... Uh... Let's be nice about Do you want money? Cause I don't have any. How about a cigarette? Fool! Liar! Can't you see? Um... I don't know if he lies. Useless! Okay... Useless! Bye! I know. Only in New York. That was... That was. Hi, Isaac. How you doing? He's playing a saxophone. Totally enraptured. I don't even think he knows we're here. Well, I think this might bring him back to his senses a little. It's a good thing he stopped playing. Or maybe it's a terrible thing. Because I think the game has crashed. Oh no, it's still going, but the music hasn't worked. Um, okay, it's meant to be playing the piano and he's meant to be playing a saxophone part to it as well. Oh no. Oh no. Um. No, I think it might just be broken. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? Like, I've never had a glitch 
in a Blackwell game when I played it on my own, and then. I, it says. Is, is that you, sis? I've been waiting for so long. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that in editing somehow. Or. I'll put. I think I'll put a recording at the end, because I want to show that off. That was pretty funny. But I'll show how it sounds with sound at the end of this video if you're interested. And no, Isaac, that's not, I'm not my. your sister. She couldn't come. No. No, she couldn't, could she? My sister's dead, isn't she? Yeah. Now I'm dead, too. Yeah. I knew that. Deep down, I knew that. I just couldn't let go. I'm sorry. Is that why you two are here? To help me let go? That's what we do best. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Don't worry. Just leave everything to us. Here, just take this. Whatever you say. Hold on tight. This is the fun part. It must get really painful. Like, she must keep scraping her knees and everything. Hi, Isaac. Hey, this is it, huh? Yep, eternity, the white Also, light, yeah, I forgot about this. The, is the, the Void's this music is very out of balance with the voice it. acting. Yeah, you really can't hear at all what they're saying. It's a good thing they're subtitles. I don't know if you can actually change the voice and music levels in this one. You've been real kind. And tell your friends sorry for the crap over here. Right. At least Lauren has something to laugh about now. Their spirit gone to the rest. Rest. That's a nice word. I haven't rested in three years. Oh! Uh... Hi again. Joey? Yeah, hi. Glad you're up. You! Did you... Did you save him? Yeah, yeah, sure, we saved him. Joey? Is she talking to you? Yeah, go figure. Thank you, both of you. I only wanted to save them. Isaac told me he was killed by an old woman. Was that you? I save! Just like you! Who are you? I am the Countess. Countess? Countess of what? It's the only name I know. I saved them. I helped them. I... I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. Don't just stand there. Let's get after her. I get the feeling she didn't save as much as she thinks she did. And I'm very worried by her She's use of spry them. She's for an old lady. Spry my foot? You couldn't outrun a one-legged turtle with those lungs. Don't start with me, okay? And with that, we return to this rather familiar scene from the start of the game. So, on that note, it's a little bit of a short video, but I'm going to end this part here, guys, because it seems a nice place to end off. Um, please enjoy the following clip of uh, Isaac playing to his sister's duet. No idea why the sound didn't work, but regardless, I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye.